what's up y'all i said what's up y'all look at me when i'm talking to you bro nah i'm just messing with y'all man this your boy knockout boxing 86 tv and we in here so check this out y'all before i get going on my video smash the like button for me subscribe to the channel if you're new over here share the video on your social media platform and um if you got a breakdown or a prediction that you'd like me to do for you Knockout Boxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And also, um, subscribe to the channel, man, like I said. But don't forget about our live shows. We live every Wednesday and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. You can also catch me live with the Singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's go ahead and get this video popping, man. And we got another fight prediction we bringing y'all, man. Raymond Ford versus Sicaria Lucas, man. 12 round. Now, I'm sorry, 10-round featherweight fight. Raymond Ford is one of the better prospects that we have in boxing right now, specifically at the featherweight division, but we need, we need to see some improvements from the young man, though. 23 years old, southpaw, 5'7", fighting out of uh, New Jersey. 12 wins, no losses with one draw. You got Sicaria Lucas, the 38-year-old, 5'6", 69-inch reach. He's been on the world level out of Namibia. Um, he's a plus 450 underdog while Raymond Ford is a minus 700 favorite. Lucas is 25 wins, one loss, one draw. He's been in there with King Tuck, you know what I'm saying? Tuck, shot, tuck, tuck, whatever you want to say his name in, bro. So he's been in there with some, some really good fighters. So I'm interested to see how Raymond Ford looks against Sicario Lucas. Now, uh, for Lucas, man, good one, two, good power, 17 knockouts and 25 fights. Um, he'll throw with you tough. He can be hurt, can be wobbled. I have seen him, you know, get rattled a couple of times, um, and but he ain't never been stopped. So, um, you know, and I think he's going to be taller than Ray. Yeah, no, nah, he ain't tall. He's only 5'6". He look like he's bigger than Raymond Ford, though, maybe because, that's you know, he a grown-ass man. But anyway, bro, he's one of them typical. Think of, um, I'm not saying he's as good as this guy, but think of, like, Nakathila. Think of, like, um. Richard Comey, you know, th those fighters from that region for whatever from, from Africa seem to be strong physically, have very good one-twos, but then they kind of lack fundamentals. Sakaria Lucas is kind of like that. Like, he got a nice, strong right hand, but he don't set it up well. Timing ain't good. He overthrows his shots. Feet ain't really that good, but he's powerful. And if he land that right hand on you, it could be trouble. Raymond Ford, very fast. That's why people are so high on him, bro. Very fast, very, very quick, fast hands, fast feet, um, can counter punch, um, just very quick in the ring. When he sits down on his shots, he does look like he can generate pretty good power, but he's kind of a, he's a confusing fighter to me, bro, because I watch him fight Felix Caraballo, and he looked good on the inside, bro. He looked like he, you know what I'm saying, he was just doing his thing on the inside and, and and like he could fight on the inside then you watch his last fight which is a fight to be honest with y'all i felt like he lost you know what i mean he, he struggled on the inside the fight before that he struggled on the inside he just for some reason his last couple of fights he did not look comfortable fighting on the inside because he was fighting pressure fighters that were trying to um come in on him and when they got in on him all he wanted to do was grab and hold and all that good work that he did against Felix Caraballo, pivoting on the inside, throwing hooks down to the body on the inside, looking to land that left around the high guard. on All that shit he was doing against Felix Caraballo in his last two fights when those guys got on the inside on him, that shit went away and he looked uncomfortable. He looked uncomfortable. So I, I, need, to see, I need to see some growth from Raymond Ford. He don't get behind his jab enough for me. He looks to counter too much with his straight left hand. And follow it behind the right hook. He's kind of repetitive in his work. And he's not good at leading either. So some work to do from him. You can definitely see the talent there. This is going to be a really good test for him. But if Raymond Ford is going to be anything close to the fighter that some people think he can be, this is a fight that he should win. I'm going to continue to have faith in the young man. I'm going to continue to think that he's a little bit too fast for Sicario Lucas. I think he's a little more um, explosive, quick. I think he'll do it. Lucas is going to struggle with the speed of Raymond Ford. And you know how the saying go, speed kills. The speed of Raymond Ford is going to win this fight for him. It's going to have him winning exchanges. And so I'm going to go with Raymond Ford in this fight. Um, Sicario Lucas can land a big shot on Raymond Ford and maybe change the complexion of the fight. But I think the, the, the quicker feet, quicker hands, 
faster feet, faster hands, um, the southpaw angles, um, because Sicario Lucas really, really struggled um, against Avalar. I watched him fight Avalar, um, and he really struggled getting hit by left hand after left hand after left hand from Avalar, who is a southpaw. Raymond Ford, too, obviously, is a southpaw. And he's much faster as Avalar, maybe not as strong, um, you know, not as, not, as, not as strong and not as gritty and grimy as Avalar, I don't think, but his left hand and timing and counterpunching ability is better than Avalar. So I'm watching Avalar on tape hit Sicario Lucas with left hand after left hand. I think Raymond Ford gets some similar work done, takes care of the business, wins a wide unanimous decision against Sicario Lucas. And if he sits down on the shot, he could probably hurt Sicario Lucas and, and potentially stop him. But Sicario Lucas being wobbled, yes. Being stopped, never seen it before. So if Raymond Ford stops him, it'll definitely be a statement and a step in the right direction. He definitely has the talent to do it. But I'm not picking it in this fight. I'm picking Raymond Ford to land the cleaner shots, to outpoint Sicario Lucas, maybe land shots that will be some highlight real shots. But I think Sicario Lucas takes him well goes the distance, fights with heart. He's just not skilled enough, talented enough, or fast enough to deal with the young Raymond Savage Ford. That's my pick, Raymond Ford, unanimous decision. Y'all let me know who y'all picking down in the comment section, man. Appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Share the video. And, uh, you know, we live Wednesday and Thursday nights, like I said, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And we also live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.